As social scientists, we rely heavily on survey research. But surveys aren't precise measurement instruments like thermometers. That's why it's important to formulate questions carefully and offer respondents the best answer options. The best answer options depend on the survey question asked and can be determined by assessing the costs and benefits of the alternatives. Respondents perceiving answer options as meaningful is a huge benefit. It allows them to accurately respond to the question. Another benefit is speed of completion. Long surveys tire respondents out and generate lower quality data. Costs include unstable responses, capturing response style bias, and not being able to perform all statistical procedures. The most common answer options offered to respondents are a bipolar five or seven point ordinal format, often incorrectly referred to as a Likert scale. Interestingly, this format performs poorly on a cost-benefit analysis. When asking respondents the same question in the context of image measurement twice in a row, only 57% of responses are the same on the five-point format and only 47% on the seven-point one. Asking respondents to answer with yes or no leads to a test-retest reliability of 82%. Five and seven point scales take up to 26% longer to complete than yes no formats, and they are prone to capturing response styles, people's personal preferences for response options. This is particularly risky in tourism research because survey respondents have diverse cultural backgrounds. When designing surveys, a cost benefit analysis must be conducted for every survey question asked. But a generic cost-benefit analysis would suggest that five and seven-point formats come at a high cost and therefore do not represent a good default answer option choice. 